Hi everyone, uh, today in, in five minutes or less, uh, as usual, uh, we will talk about indium. Uh, it's many and varied applications uh, that, that genuinely baffle scientists to this day. So indium is one of those rare metals, excuse the pun, um, that it's almost like it was created, if that's the right word, uh, for the modern world we live in today. So I will detail its properties, uh, its countless adoptions and applications, uh, but more, or maybe most importantly, I will outline why we as astute investors can profit from purchasing and owning indium as an appreciable asset. Um, I also want to be consistent with, with what I call our path of progress investment play. Um, that is, um, you know, what's anticipated? What is it that is going to make owning indium uh, compelling as a tangible asset or even a phenomenal asset right now uh, and also for the next three to five to ten years? What I can tell you is that there are some extraordinary applications taking place in numerous uh, areas of usage uh, in technology uh, where Indian plays a, a cr will play a critical and irreplaceable role. Um, now, just so you know, we all have Indian in our hands on a daily basis. Indian is in all uh, touchscreen devices. As a matter of fact, one could say Indian surrounds us in almost every device we use in modern life. It's in the computer monitor at work, uh, mobile phone, super flat TV screens, you know, all nanotechnologies. Now, in its pure form, indium is extremely soft. It can be split with a knife and one can even um, carve um, notches into indium with your fingernail. However, if you try to bend it, a cracking sound can be heard and the crystals break. So this is what makes indium baffling to scientists, yet relevant for what new technologies are coming and are in the pipeline. So the first and the newest breakthrough technology, it's not yet on the market, but it's a part of, well, rest assured, it will be on the market in the next three to five years, but it's a technology in this sector that we're now calling um, the circular economy, which is we are moving away from our disposable, uh, wasteful lifestyles and with good reason, we're awakening to and creating a more sustainable future. And Indium is playing a starring role in this revolution. So in this particular case, it's recently been discovered that Indium, because of its softness and ability to transfer, is going to eliminate the necessity of charging wearable devices, such as uh, smartphones, Fitbits, even wearable medical devices. So all wearable devices will self-charge from your own movement because of indium. So this is a brand new discovery and new technology and only possible because of indium. So then we have um, the exploding industry of creating sustainable, renewable energy. So indium compounds are now playing an increasingly important role in thin film photovoltaics, which is solar cell technology. So we're going to see cars self-charging as the roof will be embedded uh, with thin film solar cells, all possible again because of indium. Now, here's the crucial sort of point of departure from, you know, who cares, you know, demand is increasing to interesting. Now it looks interesting. So here it is. The European, the EU Commission recently moved indium to the list of critical metals where they predict limited supply and congestion in the supply chain. Now, indium is already on the critical list in the USA, and now the EU has followed suit. So what's now begun as a consequence of that is stockpiling. So we have countries stockpiling, uh, we have corporations stockpiling, so we have Japan, South Korea, BMW, Ford Motor Company, Siemens, Apple, US Department of Defense, the list goes on and on. So a key reason for this stockpiling is that China is responsible for more than half of Indium's production and could thus, you know, control the market. In fact, the largest deposits are also in China. 
So at present, indium's production capacity is at 1,000 tonnes per year, but as we've just demonstrated, demand is increasing. So there you have it, increasing demand, uh, limited and congested supply chain demonstrates potential for profit. I'm Louis O'Connor from Strategic Metals Invest. If you would like to discuss adding indium or other strategic metals to your portfolio, uh, you can contact me through our website, www.strategicmetalsinvest.com or email me directly to set up a call, louis, L-O-U-I-S, at strategicmetalsinvest.com. Thank you very much and uh, my pleasure to be here with you today.